set number 23, and this is the moment for Jeremy Burry. He has won the, the last two sets, and now he has the break shot. It's a good one. This works fine as well. Orange is almost perfect there in the corner. Takes a look at the orange ball because this shot off the white is kind of risky. Looks like a good enough position, but probably cue ball will be jumping here. If we see this one in slow motion, cue ball jumping up and difficult to control. Not only the cue ball was jumping, also the white ball was. Nice point. Four cushion shot, just escaping the kiss, trying to control the white, putting it back to where it was, more or less. Many ways of playing this shot. least three shots available of the orange and a couple of shots of the white. He takes the draw shot here with little time left on the clock. No kiss, just escapes it, Thanks. makes a beautiful shot. So close to the kiss. Nice five here in in the most important moment of the match until now. De Bakker had a good chance when he was leading 10-8. Buri coming back, now looking favorite again. Might have given this a little bit too much English. Okay, but nice, nice five. <clears throat> and he plays safe to, to Sorensen. I'm not sure that's a good idea because now, now he might open the door completely for De Bakker. I'm not at all sure what is the best tactic in, in this situation.
try to make a three cushion. And he gives the backer something that looks like almost perfect position. Managed to play the yellow ball out of the corner, but it came to another place where it's not so good, but he might be able to get there. Right side of orange. Maybe he has a kiss, so. Difficult to decide here. He can go long short or short long here. You don't know what is best. Probably both of them had a kiss. Yeah, now it gets really interesting here. Is he going to play cushion first, five cushions around? Or just a four cushion shot? I am not sure you can escape the kiss there. Four cushions, short, long, short, long, off the orange. The orange will go to the long cushion and then come out. I'm not sure you can avoid the kiss there. So Buri is thinking like I do. Cushion first, five cushions around the table. One plus five. And there he can escape the kiss. Jakob has six cushion bank shot, I think. Not a bad try. Little bit too long only. Three cushion shot around the table for Peter, not one of the easiest ones. Little bit too close together everything here. Huh? No problem. Double kisses the yellow and the orange did not leave the cushion. would have liked orange to be a little bit further out of the cushion. Well, he might play this three cushion anyway. Short, long, short, slowly for defense and maybe a position, maybe a point. Not a bad try. So close to making it, but I think he has played a perfect defensive shot. A little bit fortunate there, of course, that he hit the orange ball twice. That made this position so much more difficult. But there is a chance, left side of white to the short cushion with left side English. No, to the long cushion, of course, sorry. And now it's spinning back, yeah, no chance there, but yeah, there was a chance for a point.
has given Jakob a nice position here. Yeah, he plays it with a slow cue ball. And does not get much help from the balls. Needs a very good shot here to get out of this situation. Three or four cushions. He plays a three cushion shot. Very good. And look how quickly things can change. Now he's looking at something very, very nice. He can already start thinking about winning this set. He just makes this one. He could leave himself a nice continuation. Yellow just went a little far there, but I think he can still play a three cushion here of the white or even a five cushion, very thin. He goes for the five cushion, avoids the kiss. Looking good. Good hit there, a nice judgment that he saw that he could pass that kiss with a white ball. And a very thin, he's looking at a very thin four cushion. It's not very comfortable, that one. He also has a white ball there to play. Okay, go for the thin hit, four cushions. Might leave himself a very nice position if he makes it. <coughs> nice five here from Jakob and he has a double the rail shot of the yellow available. Not very easy because he will be queuing very close to the white ball. Not the kind of queuing you want when you play this shot. Short, long, short. Right side English. No, didn't get enough spin on it. He goes to his chair. This is too short. Short, long, short, left side of white. Not a very easy shot, but I'm, I think, I think Jeremy will take his time here and make sure he makes it.
Yeah, that's a great shot. Cue ball curving just a little bit before hitting the first cushion. That is a problem that you have to take care of when you play that shot. Probably had to play it with a, just a tiny bit of reverse English. Did not get very lucky. There is a thin hit here on white, very thin. Good shot. Uh, now it's getting interesting. There is a shot here thin on the orange, but I, I'm not sure. He can't see this. Can he really play this? I don't think that is something. Even with a very long snooker bridge, it's not going to be an easy shot. So probably cushion first on the white. Some kisses might be involved. Not much time left, so he has to shoot. Too much spin in the cue ball there. It's going to be too long. Too much ball means that the cue ball starts spinning, so it has no chance. You have to hit that exactly right. Thin hit, Jakob needs for this one, not so thin. That was more comfortable than it looked like and he's in good shape here. Needs four points more here and has a nice four cushion off the white. That one is pretty comfortable. White ball not far away so you can, you're able to hit this one exactly how you want. Don't have to be worry about, worried about mishitting this one, so take your spot. Has he given it too much English? Yep. Still good. I'm not sure if he can play. Three cushions off the left side of the yellow. I think he can. I hope he doesn't get a kick here, a butage, because that might destroy the shot. No problem there. Three playing for two and this problem to solve. I think it's a good three cushion off the yellow. Always have to worry about and what the yellow ball does. Or can he even play white ball three cushions? Oh, that would be sneaky. If that one works, it's perfect. Yeah, he got some extra spin there in the cue ball to spin it out of the corner and he has set point. Just passing the yellow there after one cushion, that was a nice shot to find. And he has a bank shot here for, for the set. So, do you have your systems under control? Jakob Hack Sørensen to take his third set.
something minus something is how much? He missed by so little, but stays at nine again, we have to say. Yeah, he missed by 0 0.1 millimeter in the first cushion. Easy three cushion for Peter. He managed to play the yellow ball all the way across to that other corner, which looks really nice. Easy five cushion after that and tries to direct orange to the corner. Makes a pretty good job of that. And he has gone into turbo style. No more thinking now. Just gets a kiss there. And the chance goes to Jeremy Burry. If he wins this set, he's at least in a playoff. For those of you who don't know, there will be a playoff if two players, like, of course, Peter de Bakker and Jeremy Burry in this case, if they end up with 10 sets each or 11 sets each, there will be a playoff between the two of them. directly after the final set. No kiss there, nice point. Playing for two. Good chance here to finish the set. Picks up some extra oxygen. Both sides of orange available, but surely he will go for the draw shot off the right side of orange, right side English, probably using maximum spin. Kind of increasing the space he has on the third cushion to score, but much too much ball, completely mishit it. How disappointing was that? What happened there? Completely missed the hit. Pressure got to him, maybe. So Jakob Hack Sorensen with set point. Pretty straightforward three cushion here of the yellow, but can he avoid the kiss? Almost maximum corner, but where does the yellow go? <laughs> he doesn't know if he has a timeout. He had. Okay, good. You have to be sure that you have no kiss. It would be so disappointing to play this shot and get a kiss. <laughs> He's not sure. I, I don't think he... You cannot trust, yeah, sometimes you cannot trust your instincts. Normally your instincts are saying to you, there is a kiss, I can't play it. I actually think he can play it, but he goes the other way. Plays a trick shot, which is a beautiful one. What a nice way to finish a set. And he... Yeah, we take a look at this again. This is absolutely fantastic. What a shot. What a nice control. Yeah, and, and now by, by winning this set, he makes the chances of a playoff. Yeah, what does he do? Does he make the chances bigger or smaller? I don't know. Because if he wins, if he wins the last set, if he takes this set, which he can start, there will be a playoff between Buri and De Vaca. But if any one of the others win, it's, it's over. 
So this is what we wanted. Everything still to happen. And we are playing set number 24. Needs a good break shot. This is looking fine. No, he gets a kiss. Might still be okay. Cue ball in the cushion. No, not so funny, but still possible. Four cushion might be available off the weight, but maybe easier to just play yellow. Short long and then short cushion. That's a good shot. Yeah. Mm, actually gets a good one here. This is pretty nice four cushion. I think he can avoid all kisses. Maybe I said too much again. I think he wants to go directly to the short cushion here. And almost maximum spin. And now the white ball, where is it? Yeah. Yeah, I said too much about that kiss. It was there. Difficult to avoid. No, this is like a, just a penalty shootout here between Buri and De Bakker. And if, yeah, we have that special option of Sorensen winning the last set, and then we still have playoff. So everything is playoff from now. Long, long short of the orange. White ball in a nice position. There is some space behind it, though. Good shot, and everything goes to the cushions. If we are lucky, we can see another trick shot here. Might double kiss the white. Uh, doesn't look like he's going for that. He played another tricky shot. And this one... He played with some thought behind it. Yes, of course, I should have mentioned before, Buri has the advantage in this all deciding set that he plays before the backer, so he can play him safe all the time. Peter going for the point here. Not a bad shot. Looks like he has made it. Beautiful. Unfortunately for him, yellow ball goes to the cushion. And that might just be the end of this inning. No, he goes, ah, he finds the cushion first on the yellow. That could score. Of course, always difficult with a kiss. Gets the wrong cushion. Yeah, leaves. Big, big, big problem here for Sorensen. Might try the three cushion. 
try to steal the cushion just before the yellow. Not, not such a bad try. And now Bury with a really good chance. Just playing orange back to the middle. I'm not sure. I'm not sure he can play this one off the white. Well, it should be possible. Maybe he has to use a draw to get the kiss away. He can play without draw, it's a much easier shot, but now it looks like he has to draw to slow down the cue ball, accel accelerate the white, get the kiss away. Yep. Good shot. <coughs> a little bit unlucky there, three balls in the middle, but they are like in a triangle and so the angles angles are closed needs a very very good hit here on the white to play a 3 or 4 cushion shot but if he gets a decent hit he has good chances and that was more than decent Nice shot. And again, the ball's in a triangle. I don't think he can play right side of white. He would have wanted to play thin on the right side of the white ball, but it's, yeah, might be too thin. So he has to go for the other three cushion on the other side of white. Good shot again. <coughs> the backer had a very good chance when he was leading 10 sets to 8 compared to Bury. Kind of let it slip. Short, long, short, with extra speed for safety, Thanks. but he makes the point nicely, good shot, and now he is again the favorite that he has been from the start. This might be a very good chance. Right side of white, short, long, maximum spin, long cushion and orange. And safe if he shouldn't make it. Kiss. 
Good shot. Playing for three now, and it looks that the Frenchman is going to win this, but this is this is not a nice situation to be in. No real way to play safe here. Could of course could of course play play orange and leave the white where it is. Surely he's going to draw back here. Cue ball position is not so good. He managed to put some extra speed on it, so the yellow ball goes far away from white. Probably giving Peter de Bakker something very difficult. He does. Has to go for a bank shot. Yeah. Not so bad. What a shot there. One of the best shots in this match, and again, it's not a point. <clears throat> so Jakob Haxörensen with a chance to produce a shootout between the other two players. Very good one. And a nice opening there, I think. The yellow ball just went far enough out of the short cushion so he can play a cushion first. Might be a kiss too, but looks like he goes for it. Cushion first, left side of yellow. It looks possible from here. Good. Sometimes you have to just take the decision. It was a sure point, but sometimes you're, you're not really sure. Thin three cushion, he has to stretch, but no problems at all to get there. Place it on three cushions, not three or five. Nice shot. A little bit too much ball on the yellow there for a good position. <coughs> short, long, short with left side English he's looking at. Now we see that angle, a little bit, little bit kissy. Not sure he can avoid the kiss so easily there without making the shot super difficult at the same time. Needs to come up with a shot, time is ticking.
Nice shot there from Jakob. <clears throat> Looks like he has a shot here on the left side of yellow. Five cushions, not three. Ten. Nice shot and playing for three. And we are getting really close to a decider between Buri and De Bakker. To avoid all misunderstanding, should Jakob Hack Sørensen win this set, there will be one extra set between the other two players. Peace. Beautiful shot there, he took care of the kiss. And this could be kind of an extra chance for De Bakker, who has been a little bit cold in the last couple of sets. Just when he took a lead by two sets, he started producing some occasional mistakes. Playing for two is Jakob Hack Sørensen. Long, short, long, almost without English. Yeah, that's a good shot. Beauty, a beauty. Set point, and this looks like a nice seven cushion shot. Probably there are some kisses, but I don't think he thinks about that. He will just throw this one around the table and see what happens. Okay. Nice, and we have a decider. Probably they will lag for who starts it. Five minutes, five minutes break, we...
So a marathon turns into a super marathon. We have one extra set. Set, set number 25. Very special occasion here, so they are discussing the rules. They are making a draw for who plays the lag first in Corona times, we should not be at the table at the same time, so one player will start. <coughs> Looks like Buri will go first. So one set to decide who goes to the final. And uh, first of all, I give Peter de Backer the advantage of having the best speed control, so the lag, very, very important, of course. I give Peter more than 60% chance of winning. But it all depends on this one, of course, because if this one is really, really good, it might be difficult to beat. I think Peter can beat this one. Look a little slow, so it's Buri to start. We didn't see a run of 10 in this match, so this is the time to do it.
everything good there actually but white ball went to the cushion and yeah not going to be so easy this one probably four cushion of the white four or six cushions maybe <coughs> he will draw back yes right side english Nice shot, and now he wants to be on that side of the white, yes, but didn't help much. All the balls jammed together. No easy shot here. Looking for a thin hit on the white. Short, long, and short. Queuing over orange. Not easy at all, this. Too close to the corner. But reason reasonably safe. This will be a difficult shot for Peter. He has been a little bit off form in the last, in the final four sets of, of the regular match after he took the lead by two sets. Now he needs to find energy here for 10 points. Long, long short to a frozen orange. Looks very nice. Ooh. Just misses it and plays a perfect defensive shot. That was a very good try and look at how he controlled the yellow. Awful position here for Bury. Bank shot? Oh no, bad angle for bank shot. I have no idea. Maybe he has to play short, long, short off the left side of the white. No, he takes a bank shot. Probably needs to hit ball first now. Uh, that is almost impossible. Perfect safety shot there from Peter de Bakker. Sends him back to the table with a better position. Sensitive little draw shot. The ball lost all rotation on the way to the short cushion. Could play white, chooses to play orange. Good shot. And this is okay. Orange ball, long, short, long. Yeah, I think he can play it without any draw, just a little bit tiny bit of reverse English maybe. Of course he might go for the draw shot as well if he likes it, but I think he has both options. This looks like the draw shot.
spinning the cue ball. Maximum spin here. Yep. And place orange into the middle. And Peter puts his cue away. He feels that Bury will make this point. Doesn't like the white. Is he going to play this thin shot instead of the other one? Okay. Avoids the kiss by a very small margin. Almost nothing there between the balls. <coughs> and this is a good chance to clinch the match. Almost perfect position here. Just needs to push it a little bit A little bit thin three cushion here. Not really thin, but you need a perfect hit. That was too thin, much too thin. But he puts the ball away, puts the ball away. Peter de Bakker has to go searching for a point here. Long, long short is possible off the yellow. Comes off the long cushion. Not an easy shot. Five cushion here off the white with a thin hit and draw maybe. He wants to find the shot off the orange. I'm not sure he can escape the kiss there. <coughs> Might be a kiss in my suggested shot as well. I don't know how far this white ball comes. Again, very close to the kiss, but he makes the point and playing for three.
BD shot here now from Buri. Not much English. Full hit on the white and a good three cushion. Playing for two. Difficult to find a way to play here. White ball doesn't offer many possibilities. And orange, I'm not sure this draw shot is a good idea here. Three cushion draw shot. Depends on if he can put the orange away. Might go three cushion onto the white. So Peter de Bakker gets another chance. And it's a good one. I'm sure Peter de Bakker hasn't given up, but he has stopped scoring. And as you might have seen in the background, we have one very exclusive audience. We have an audience of one. Jakob Pak Sørensen has, has taken a seat in a magenta colored chair. We replace something that looked like a safety shot. It's not really difficult this one for Peter, but surely not easy. Cross table shot, three times long cushion. Very nice. And is this his last chance? Something is wrong here. Why is the bucker shooting with a white ball? I'm not sure I get this. <coughs> so Buri started. Didn't he start with a white ball? I'm not sure. His name and score is white. Difficult two cushion first, they needed to hit very thin on the white to have a chance. Huh? Nice shot by Peter. And he gets the ball into a nice position.
Another nice soft shot from Peter. And he's coming back into this playoff set. Good shot again from Peter here, controlling all the three balls, sends Orange into a good area. Caroms softly onto the yellow, and this is a possible five cushion shot. Not three. Peter is taking a look at the right side of the red. Ah, he goes to the short cushion first. I thought he was planning on going to the long cushion first. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. He's back to 8-6. Now I think I understand now. They keep their balls, the color of the ball that they had during the whole match, of course. Okay, now I get it. Peter with a real chance here. 8-6 behind, but this is such a good one. A few seconds left to shoot. Needs a spin here and a spin from the third cushion. No, it's actually flat. He played it controlled with less spin. Advantage is he could control the yellow ball nicely. Playing for three now and almost perfect shot here. He has a shot at winning again. Shoot the orange in behind yellow. Didn't get it right. Ooh. He had a good chance there, but didn't get enough draw on this one. It was a big ball, the yellow, but he's at the same time he had to control orange. I think he has to go to sh short cushion first, or can he reach the long? Yeah, that was a good try, and it does not come back now. Yeah, desperately unlucky there. He did not have a real shot to play, so he had to try this one, and no way to play safe. He leaves everything open here for Peter. He does need a good hit on this one, though. I don't think he can just play three-quarter ball with maximum spin. He might end up short then, so he might need a thinner hit. Yeah, he goes for the thinner hit. Maybe too thin. Just makes it. Ooh, 
nail biter here, 8-8. Eight, eight. And what a position to have, 8-8 eight, eight and I don't know anything, I don't know much about safety, but it should be very, very difficult to produce a safety shot here. <coughs> so what do you do then? Just try to make the point. No. Maybe three cushion, three cushion bank shot and orange and then long cushion and yellow. No, I don't know. Can you go for that? Crazy four cushion off the yellow with a hundred kisses. Full hit on orange here and five cushions. Is that possible? It needs to pass the yellow ball really close. Pretty nice five cushion shot here of orange. Only question is what does he do with the orange ball? Can he just remove it from the scene of the crime? Oops, it's going to be there. Ay, ay, ay. Chance for Peter. Looks like a nice position here, actually. Mm, from this angle, I'm not so sure anymore. Left side of yellow, long short, almost into the corner. From this angle, it looks much better. Nice shot. And he gets the triangle position. E, nothing to play here. Oh. oh, there is no real shot here. The, the only shot I can see is the cushion first on the yellow. But that yellow is <coughs> pretty far out of the cushion. But he has to play it. It's just, I don't think he can play cross table here of orange. What a horrible situation to be in. But okay, the, the advantage is he has match point. He has a chance to qualify for the finals. Ah, too much ball, maybe. Yeah, it's going to be short. A little bit of a defensive shot. If he had got it a little bit thinner, he probably would have had a point anyway, but a better Better defense. This is still not easy. And there is no real safety shot. I don't think he can find a safe way of missing this one. Cross table shot of orange. Very thin to avoid the kiss maybe. He couldn't get it quite thin enough. But he gets away with it. Wow. Long, long short here for Peter with spin. Left side of orange. He goes for it. It's 
going to be close. He makes it and he wins the match. What a fight. Unbelievable. He came back from 8-0 in the decider to win 10-8. to Nice. People, uh, it has been very, very exciting to watch and comment on this match. And please stay just a little bit longer. There will be interviews from uh, Jeremy Picard with the players. So I'll see you in a couple of days. And thank you for watching and listening. It has been a pleasure. See you next time and stick around for the interviews. Peter, uh, billiard is so crazy. Um, today it was uh, amazing. You push uh, your your uh, opponent to the last limit by playing this uh, last set, the decider in the last set. How do you feel after uh, after your qualification? Yeah, of course I feel uh, very happy. But um, yeah, like you said, uh, it, it's very crazy. Um, from uh, set uh, 21, uh, I was really out. Uh, I could not make a point anymore. I think I, I, I didn't play uh, zero 05 anymore. So, and uh, uh, the guys played v both very good. So they won. Uh, as I'm when I'm right, uh, both two sets in the last four. So I was nowhere. I was long time on my share. Uh, and then yeah, this decider uh, also be because of the good set of of, of uh, Jacob. There was a decider, and uh, yeah, the start was also amazing. 8-0 for Jeremy, so uh, I don't give any any chance anymore for myself. And like you said, it's very crazy how it can turn. Yeah, you uh, you feel um, you seems to be the engine as uh, was out of gas uh, until um, the for in the second half uh, in in the last four sets, and uh, the same in the decider. But you find a way to make the 10 points. So it's totally unbelievable for viewers. It's one of the most crazy, crazy day we, we have ever lived. Also for me, uh, I, I, don't, I, I see also, uh, yeah, at the end, uh, Jeremy missed also balls that he normally no, he will not miss. And uh, yeah, uh, I, I think three, four innings already that it, will, that it is done, but uh, yeah. I have no explanation. Probably the the the, the pressure. I don't. I, I don't know. I, I don't find any other reason for this. So we make both mistakes, and yes, uh, somebody has to win. But it can. It could be him also. Yeah. I guess you feel relieved now. Uh, we will see you again in September for the final eight, and um, it will be a pleasure to receive you again. Um, a, a last word about your two opponents about Jacob. Oh, Jacob, um, in the, the first and the second day, I, like he told me already, well, he didn't feel really uh, the, 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 his game. He could not find his game, and yeah, we know all uh, Jacob. So uh, normally, we uh, expect more uh, uh, battle from his side. And yes, at the at the end, he showed his uh, what he can do. That's a fact. And um, and yes, what I can say. Uh, congratulations again, uh, Peter, and um, see you see you in September. Uh, we see we see each other back in September. Yes, I hope so. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Jakob. Yeah. Jakob, uh, what a good uh, two last sets today. You will uh, you you are the troublemaker in this story. You are uh, uh, incredible. Uh, maybe there was no pressure at the end. You you find your game uh, because we know that you were um, uh, very very high average, uh, more than uh, 150 maybe, and you play you play less than uh, your value. Um, what's your feeling today? 
Yes, definitely. I find uh, some some more in the last sets, maybe because the pressure is off. That's possible. I don't know. Sometimes it's like that. You have bad days and good days, and uh, yeah. last two days were not so good for me. But yeah. But maybe uh, you will appear in the best of the day. Uh, do you remember which point, maybe, in the um, best of of the day? I imagine the closing point of one of the sets. Yeah. I don't know which set, uh, the no double way. the rail, I'm yeah. guessing. Maybe, yeah. Maybe <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you for coming here, uh, Jakob. Uh, good come back to, to Denmark. Um, you play. You still play with Grandal um, in uh, league? Yes, I do. In three weeks, I think we will play the Danish Championships playoffs also. Okay, thanks, thanks for coming and uh, see you later, Jakob. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Uh, Jeremy, you must be so disappointed. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a crazy game. Uh, billiard is a crazy game. No, I'm not disappointed at all. I'm very happy, of course. <laughs> no, of course, I'm disappointed. Uh, yeah, it was a crazy day, crazy game. Uh, there's nothing to to analyze, I think, uh, in this. Uh, almost nothing. Of course, I made I made some some mistakes. But not so much, and uh, even in the decisive set, I could hear Peter. He said that uh, I made some mistakes. I think I made one, but the other ones, uh, for me, there was uh, a, a problem on uh, on the other positions, kiss problem or something else. I made one one mistake, but I had I think I had difficult shot as well at the end, the second part of the of the decisive set. So. Yeah, it's difficult to it's difficult to analyze. I think I played good. Jacob uh, played good at the end of the um, of the day, and I must say that I'm happy for him because uh, it was complicated. It was hard for him since the beginning. Uh, he didn't play so bad, even if the, his average is not uh, not really good. Uh, but uh, I felt he didn't play so bad. But he was far behind, and he could uh, he could finally won some some games, some sets at the end. Even if he won uh, one set uh, when I was um, very close to to ten, so uh, this is this is the game. I don't know the general average, but um, yeah. for me, it doesn't doesn't mean. Uh, I wouldn't say that it doesn't mean anything, but uh, it's uh, it's a new kind of game. Uh, you don't you cannot play strategy uh, because in a normal game, when you play one to one. When you when you are in a difficult period um, because you receive difficult shots or you you make some mistakes you don't feel so good you you can you try to control uh, your opponent and um, in order that your opponent uh, doesn't make too much points at this during this period you contain uh, this period in this game you cannot yeah you have fifty percent less of defense. Yeah, it's uh, it's difficult. It's difficult to compare. So uh, even for uh, the averages, I don't know. But the averages maybe, yeah, maybe uh, averages are underestimated in sets of ten because there's a lot of run were were stopped. I think we cannot compare. Yeah. I, I think we cannot say averages are underestimated or uh, uh, surestimated. It's we cannot. I think I really think we cannot compare. So it doesn't it doesn't mean a lot uh, for me, but uh, okay, uh, Peter must be happy today. He won more sets, so uh, okay, he deserves to win, probably. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jeremy, we will see you in three weeks, I think, um, for for a best of with uh, six uh, good uh, French players. Um, your non qualification was um, somewhat unpredictable. In the last uh, in the last minutes, but uh, billiard is so crazy. Yeah. Predict with this game, you cannot predict anything. Mm. Uh. Yeah. Yes, thank you, Jeremy, and uh, good yeah. So they know how to make points and uh, how to make decisive points, so uh, you cannot predict anything. Okay, thank you, Jeremy, and uh, see you in June. Yeah. Thank you. Scénario, c'est vrai. Enfin, je veux dire, <rire> non, mais pour les, pour les spectateurs qui n'ont aucun.